In this video, we're going to install the F Expansion Japanese Taiko Percussion Drum Expansion Pack, and then we are going to authorize it and ensure that it works in BFD2 and in BFD3. So after you purchase the Japanese Taiko Percussion Expansion Pack, you'll register it in your fexpansion.com account if you bought it from another dealer. If you buy it right from F Expansion, the authorization should already be in your account. So simply log into your account and download the correct files. Since I'm on Windows, I download the Windows installers and that's four parts. So after you download those four parts, unzip them and now let's get on with the install. So we'll start off with the number one folder here. So we'll just double click the installer and then go through these menus. So I actually have BFD2 and BFD3 installed, but in this case, I'm going to actually leave this to the BFD2 directory and I'll just import the library into BFD3 later on. So now we choose where we actually want the library, the actual audio data installed to, and I don't want to install anything else in my BFD2 audio folder or in the BFD3 audio folder. I personally like to make dedicated folders for each of my expansions. So I'm going to actually create that folder manually, create a new folder called BFD Takeo Percussion, and then back to the installer, and I'll simply browse to that folder, choose that, then I want the full installation. So then we'll just let this install this first part. Okay, so the first part's now installed. So if we go and check the folder that we installed to, we'll see that we only have about one and a half gigs of audio. So that's not the full expansion pack. We need to install the other three parts manually here. So let's go back and do that now. Double click on the part two installer, go through the menus again. And you see this time it found the folder that we had previously installed to, so we'll just click next, and there we go. And then we'll simply repeat those steps for the third part. If you happen to get a warning like this, more than likely you can just ignore it. This is actually a pretty old installer, and I'm on Windows 8, so there might be some issues of the way Windows sees how that install went, but it actually installed just fine, so we'll just say it installed correctly and move on here. So we'll install our fourth and final package. And there we go. Now if we navigate to our installation directory, you'll see that it's around six gigs, and that's right. So if we look here in BFD3 under drums, we're not seeing any of our Japanese percussion pieces. So we'll go up here to tools and set up the content locations. And from here I could search drives or search folder. I think I'll just search a folder here, direct that to my BFD drum library folder and let that search, and we'll just wait for this to complete. All right, so the search completed, and it noticed that we had a new library installed that is not authorized, so it automatically opened the license manager for me. I've already logged into it, and there we go. It sees the Japanese percussion, so all I need to do now is hit authorize because I've already logged into my fexpansion.com account online and registered this there. So since I'm logged into this manager, it's connecting to my account and seeing that I indeed do own this license. There we go. Now we have authorized our new drum library. It's going to rescan. And there we go. We can see that the Japanese percussion is now authorized and ready to use. So we'll close this. Then we'll just scroll down here and right Right there we can see the library is indeed installed and we can use it right here in BFD3. So we'll just load up uh, one of the drums real quick. Then I'll simply click on it to make sure it's producing sound. Yep, there we go. Sounds great. So we'll close down BFD3, open up BFD2. Now BFD2 is scanning our data path. And let's search here. And there we go, the expansion pack is available in both BFD2 and BFD3 for us. I'll just load up one kit piece real quick, make sure it makes sound. There we go, great. I'm going to check one more thing in BFD3 here. Go to kits, and I'm not seeing any of the Japanese percussion kits in BFD3. However, they are available in BFD2. So what I'm actually going to do is import those kit presets. So I'm in C program files x86 F expansion BFD2 because if you remember that's where we installed the data, not the actual audio, but when it asked for our BFD2 path, that's the path we chose. So BFD2 and it installed those two kits right here in F expansion BFD2 system and kits. 
So all we need to do now is go into BFD3, go up to the file here, and choose Import Multiple Kits. Then simply navigate to that directory, which is right here, and I'll simply highlight both of those and hit Open. And then since the Takeo kit is a bit older, it needs to be updated to the BFD3 standard. So we'll just click Yes. And there we go. Now we instantly have our two kits right here in BFD3. We go to Library. We'll see they show up now in our little drop down. So I'll just double click one here to load up, make sure it works. And there it goes. Indeed, it does. Loads up. Click a couple of drums, make sure it's working properly. So that is how you would install and activate the F Expansion Japanese Percussion Drum Expansion Library for BFD2 and BFD3.